Hello, and welcome to my Airbnb in Sydney. I wanted to come on here today and do a little kissing show because nobody's going outside, you know, trying to self-isolate. So yeah, I was like, I'm gonna make some healthy cookies and maybe show you guys how I make them. The unbearable hours later. I just got back from the store and that was wild. I hadn't been out much since everything's like been happening with the coronavirus and I just got so scared. People are tripping out at the store, which I totally understand. You have a right to be scared, but like it scared me and now I'm alone in this apartment and I'm gonna try and bake some freaking cookies for you and me but they didn't have pumpkin puree which is like one of the things that I wanted to put into the cookies because it's like one of my favorite ingredients to use to keep them low cal, high in fiber, blah 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 healthy so now I honestly don't even know what I got like let's let's go through what I got at the store this is gonna last you Caitlin like this is what I do when I when things like this happen like I, I'm not just I'll show you welcome to my kitchen let's see what I got at the store that I don't even remember because I was in freak out mode slash let's just see what I got to start off with I ended my shop walking through a liquor store because it was connected and I was like, well, if I'm stuck in my apartment for days, I'm gonna need something to help pass the time. So I got two bottles of Prosecco because I love some Prosecco. Second, what did I get? Vegetable, salad, smart Caitlin. That's gonna last a long time if you get stuck here. Carrots, those will actually last. Crackers, I honestly don't even remember grabbing these. More salad, turkey, gotta have that protein. Lunch meat, really, Caitlin? Okay. Um, kombucha, because you gotta have that, always. I like never eat yogurt. Why did I grab yogurt? Okay. <laughs> don't come to me when you're in a crisis, because apparently I don't know what to do. I got some canned tuna. One can. Cool, Caitlin. Mustard, because I love mustard. I'm a sauce board, and mustard is like one of the sauces I love to use. I know you're not supposed to touch your face, but I wash my hands right when I got home, so. More vegetables, cauliflower rice. Okay, I got a thing of cauliflower rice, and then a whole head of cauliflower. I amaze myself sometimes with just how I got some a cucumber, some strawberries. I've actually never really eaten strawberries and I've been super into them lately. I feel like they're like pretty, like if you're gonna eat a fruit, they're like a pretty good one to eat. And they, I just like them, I don't know what I'm saying. Some plums, gotta love a stone fruit. Oh, I found another can of tuna and salsa. Actually, I'm surprised that I, I'm actually happy I got salsa because one of my favorite healthy snacks is carrots and salsa or cucumbers and salsa. Like you use it as a chip. Pretty good. And then I got baking stuff and they didn't have all the things I needed for this recipe. So I'm just gonna have to try to make something happen with what I got. Yeah, this is where we're at right now. Okay, so <clears throat> I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do, but I found a muffin pan. And amidst all of my not knowing what was happening in the world and questioning everything while standing in line at the store and not knowing what to get, I bought these. They're really cute. They're mini polka dot, mini polka dot patty pans. So we're gonna do something with them. And there's a muffin tin, so I'm gonna make little mini, I don't know. Got some Australian baking flour mix, which is flax and almond. Some dark chocolate chips, some sweetener, baking soda and baking powder, and vanilla extract. So I'm thinking that I can try and make some cookies or like some little like bites 
I just don't know how they're gonna raise properly. I mean, we'll see. This is gonna be a science experiment, really, because my brain just decided to shut off while, while surrounded by hecticness in a crazy grocery store. <laughs> so, let's see how this goes. Here we go, baking in an Airbnb. First mistake, because the only measuring cup I could find was this, and it's one third cup. And the only mixing spoon I could find was this, which is a rice paddle, but it'll do. I'm gonna use this for a tablespoon. I don't really know like what the base of the sugar is. It's a sweetener, it's all natural, and a stevia. But it's a baking one, so is it like one to one? It's not one-to-one. <coughs> it's not one-to-one, -one. good to know. Okay, so. I'm gonna try and make, yeah, chocolate chip little. And these are like really small. They're like little baby bite size things. I was, okay, well, it's already broken, so. Like, look at how big it is compared to my hand. It's like a little bite size. Oh, they're so cute. So I'm gonna put them in the baking sheet. So, moved Airbnbs today from one in Bondi Beach to one like kind of closer into the city. And it's actually really pretty. I'll show you guys the view. I can look over some Centennial Park, I think is what it's called. Like into the city. It's really pretty. I'm like obsessed with Australia. I love it here. I love Sydney. It's so beautiful and it's like the perfect marriage between city life and ocean life. Like I can go to the beach and swim and then I can like go into the city. It's so nice. And everything is just clean and the people are nice and I just love it. So I'm gonna measure out, it smells like flax, but that's good because it has flax in it. So it's gonna be, Oh my god, the oven is Celsius. Okay, that's why we have people. Okay, I'm gonna start with one third cup of that. That's gonna be my base, so maybe two thirds. Guys, I'm like scared for what this is gonna turn out to be like. And then I'm gonna do two tablespoons of sweetener. What am I gonna use? Oh, you know what? I have the yogurt. That oven in it. so good. It's like so much cleaner than in America. That shit's fire. Okay. Mm, I don't want to waste it if it's not going to be good in this though. I'm going to have to take the risk. Sam! Daddy! That is good! I need to stop eating this. I did it. I did it. Two big ass that. So I like, I've been in bed the past couple days because I don't have coronavirus, don't worry, I have a head cold. Hence why I haven't traveled back to Hawaii because I think like with all this stuff going on, I want to be like home and with my husband and like, you know, in isolation with him. But I don't want to travel when like my immunity is already down, so I'm like tr trying to wait to get better and then I'll travel back to Hawaii. Guys, this is like crazy. I feel like I sound like such a dumb blonde, but I'm seriously at a loss of words with like what's going on in the world. I've been reading everything and trying to keep updated and like I feel like I know what's going on, but then at the same time it changes like every two seconds and I'm just like, what's happening? <sighs> so I decided to bake. Cause cookies make you happy, right? And these are gonna be healthy. Anyways, back to it. Okay, I'm gonna use, I need some kind of fat source. Let's see what I have in here. Oh, honey. Cinnamon. Ooh. These people have vegan butter in here. We're gonna do a tablespoon of that. 
because we need a fat source. Okay, I'm gonna mix it in and see how it tastes and then, oh god. The thing was off, good thing I didn't have to go in and just go for it. I love cinnamon and everything. And we're gonna do a little bit of baking powder. I'm legit scared that these cookies aren't gonna work out, but I tried my best, so I will let you know how it goes and how they turn out. Yeah. And I'm back. <coughs> <coughs> I'm choking on water that I just drank. Okay, so it smells really good in here, and these actually don't look too bad, so let's see. I just thought that I had to come back on here and tell you. I ate all the cookies. I literally, I was like, Caitlin, it's fine, be cute. Like, just have two, like a normal human. I ate them all. Good thing I only made six. It was a small batch, but still, I ate them all. And I just wanted to come on here and be like, you know what, it's okay if you eat all the cookies that you make. That's why we make healthy ones. That's why we follow and make up these fun, 
healthy recipes because when you eat all of them, you don't feel as bad. So I feel kind of bad. And I've also had half of a bottle of Prosecco in this. <laughs> Anyways, um, I just wanted to come back on here and finish off my, I don't even know what this was, a vlog, a sight into a few hours of my day today. Um, it's just so weird, like, there's not a lot of people out, I don't really know what to do with myself, I don't know if I should go out or if I should stay in, I mean, I know I should stay in, but like, I don't want to stay inside, but it's also like rainy and gross right now. It actually just stopped raining, so I might go outside to that park, because it looks really nice. But I was just finishing a homework assignment. Um, and yeah, I don't really... Oh look, there's chocolate on my tooth, that's cute. Wow, Caitlin. I'm really surprising myself today just with like... Like some days I'm just... Some days I'm really on it, <clears throat> and other days I'm just gone. Like my mental capacity today is so minimal, it's scary. Like, I, I'm getting my homework done, and that's fine. Once I get into the mode, I'm like, okay, blah, 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 and then I get it done. But, like, I don't know. I think it's just because, like, I'm thinking so much about, like, what's going on in the world and what I'm going to do, how I'm going to get home, am I going to go home, is going home the right thing, is this going to blow over, is it not going to blow over? Like, there's so many different, like, aspects of my life that it's affecting and I'm just like here alone thinking about it all. <laughs> I'm so good at that. I'm so good at just sitting here and overthinking everything. I got paid to do it, I'd be a millionaire. So yeah, I just wanted to come on here and finish the vlog or whatever this was by saying thank you for watching. Sorry if it wasn't as entertaining as you'd like. If you guys have any suggestions or things you want to see, please hit a sister up because I'm always down to try new things. And yeah. Okay. Have a good day. Bye.